We have pillows and they're cute. We're in. We're just comfortable as shit. You guys look very comfy. Yep. We got our new t-shirts on. <laughs> got our little pillows. Brent's frozen, I think. I, I was waiting. I was waiting for you. I'm going to do it. Welcome back to the Lions in episode number 71. Hi. Oh, Sorry. Oh, man. man. We're almost there. <laughs> Go ahead. Is it, is it 71, right? Yes. Okay, seventy episode seventy one. Please continue to rate and review at Apple Podcasts. Give us a five star rating and then a review. Will will read it kind of. And then as always, <laughs> YouTube at uh, the Lions Den with Jason Collins and Brent Morin. And yep. then we have a clips channel, Lions Den Clips, and also Patreon.com slash the Lions Den Pod for all yep. our members only. And I'm feeling cuddly right now. Cuddly. Soft t shirt on. Thank you Soft for that. Tea. We got a pillow here covering my belly. Feeling good. And yeah, show off the tees. Uh, if we can see them. Yeah, th these t-shirts are from this Angie, is, I believe. Angie this is, McGuez, right? You know, this is me. That's Brent. Yeah, and I that look, I don't know who this one is. This is the coolest shit guy on the left. Huh? Well, and she gave me she gave me a large. I got and I've one. always been a medium. Mine's but perfect. It fits way too well, and it's making me a little self conscious. But the material is awesome. We got a few more shirts, and then we got the pillows. Who are those pillows from? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. She made pillows, stomach pillows. They're for great. Us. She was very concerned about the uh, pop figure. Oh yeah. That it was gonna burn, but what she doesn't know is that it did. Yeah. And is that why like some of your the hairs missing on yours, Jay? It looks like some of the hair on top, like your like your action figure's thinning. Hey man. Hey man. Jesus. That's not you. It's the your. Hey, not all guy. of us go home and cuddle with our. Does it look like it? <laughs> Yeah, so I, was, I saw that. I noticed that. I said, well, "What are you talking about? There's nothing. Oh, my There's God. nothing on it." To be honest, don't don't let him make you feel weird. You know what's weird? This gets made by Nicole, who, who's killing it, and he goes, "This is what Will did." No, I thought the Will, candle no, was this hurt, is what Will did. Will did this. Will went, "I like this," and then went, "Bye, guys," and, and then just left with it. Took it home. He yeah. cuddles with it. I want him. He's on my desk. I like now I'm not gonna lie. You you were talking about what you wrote her, and. Uh, I do. It's like I have cum in my hair. But <laughs> what is that candle? It's wax, right? Yeah, it's wax. When I burnt myself on the last one. We also, what I think is really cool, is a little the little booklet that oh, she yeah. made of all the art. This is awesome. The thing is so cool. Look at this. We, we, I'm loving this. We get gifts. We get gifts. We get canceled, by the way. Episode Cancel. 69. Oh, yes. You're Sorry right. Sorry about that. Episode 69 got taken down for I don't know why. Did they ever say why? Nope, but it's back up now. It's back up now. It was it was removed because what was the wording that they used? It was like, uh, I have to look up. It's like um, the guidelines or something. Something about the, the practices and guidelines. And it wasn't, it was just for like, uh, I can't remember. It was here's, just, what the, here's what it tells me it happened. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about Donald Trump, and I and I don't really talk about him in a glowing light. And <laughs> what tends to happen sometimes is that a, 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 someone that was that didn't like it probably complained to YouTube, probably. And then YouTube said you can contest it. You contested it. YouTube went, I guess we got to look at it, and they went, "There's nothing wrong here." And then they put it back up. I believe that's what happened. Yeah, because it right. was a quick, quick turnaround. I couldn't think of anything. Yeah, that I had said, and yeah, I feel funny. like it might have been me. It's of all the episodes. I mean, that was we just had a, it was the polit it was the most politicky probably. So maybe that just someone didn't someone hated it. I mean, sorry. reported Politic it or something. I don't know. Politic hey guys, I'm sorry. Look, yeah, but I want to take this moment really to apologize. Shit. But, if I refer to your president as a fat piece of shit, I'm so sorry. Man, well, this episode is gone. He now. is. <laughs> what? I mean, the guy can't even cinch a fucking tie together without taking his neck fat and putting it together. <laughs> He's Cancel. got some miracle cure apparently. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's so funny to try to be political when we have pillows. Or, or be tough. And Look here's it. the... Uh, yeah. Hey, Knock it off. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Looking nuts. You guys are nuts. Hugging a pillow is so great. It is. It's like the, it's like the My Pillow guy. Yeah. The commercial where he's always, he's always got like a really weird loose... 
<laughs> he's got always got like a really loose grip on he the pillow. He does, but who notices? My that? pillow, it's the best pillow you're ever gonna squeeze, kind of. Yeah. Don't squeeze it too much. <laughs> Gotta get a loose grip on it. Hi, I don't trust this pillow, but I'll <laughs> right? tell you this: if you want to cuddle it, you gotta try to cuddle it. <laughs> I you have a review? Yeah, I do. I was going to say also, the shout out, the, the color choice is fantastic. It's it, perfect. It pops with the chair when, when they're not right? sitting there. And the once I get the rug pops, back in here, it's going to be perfect. beautiful. It's, Boom. Uh, the before and after the studio is pretty gr- amazing. How where we start and where we are now. So thanks, everybody, for sending stuff. We do have a review from a Kern B. Uh, subject line is Earthquake Story. Hmm. The oh. chemistry with you three is amazing. Best podcast out there and more people need to check it out. Brent, your, Brent your eight-minute bit on the earthquake had me cracking up. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was real or fake, but A+. That's real. Really hoping after COVID, you three make a trip up to New Jersey. Either do stand-up or a live uh, podcast show. Plan to buy Jason stand-up this weekend, and hoping, Brent, you release one, too. Your Netflix stuff is great. Awesome. Boom. Wow, what a nice thank review. You. Thanks, Kern B. Kern. Kern There is a B. chance, and you'll see this in the vlog if you're a Patreon member, there is a chance, it's not anything final, but Jason and I might be going to New York slash Jersey. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe. But Maybe. we might be going I, I there. I made a no phone shows call today. Plain. I made a Plan. phone call today. I called a buddy of ours over there. Yeah. Chris Millhouse. You know our buddy Millhouse, mm-hmm. who has, actually has a new podcast right now called, I believe it's called The Third Person. It's with him and Daryl Hammond, formerly of Saturday Night Live, who used to hold the record as the longest cast member, but got beat by Keenan. Yeah. But um, uh, he was telling me it's, it's, it's n- n- now's the time to go. If we're going to go, we got to go very soon. Very soon. Because it, I, cause I didn't think about this. We have the op- we're, we all have the opportunity right now to do these outdoor shows. Yeah, in Southern California, yeah. we're going to be able to do outdoor shows longer into the oh, winter than any. I just re- as yeah. soon as winter yeah. happens over there, it's done, done. and it's nothing, done. indoor shows aren't happening. And outdoor restaurants, I right. didn't even think about that. It's apparently right. a ghost town over there right now. It's really Does it get weird. Cold? Is that why? Yeah. Well, New York? Yeah. Well, New York. October, I, yeah. I, yeah. There's there's. Did you just ask if New York gets cold? I didn't know if yet. Oh, got it, got it, yet. Got it. Yes, fair. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I get it. But, I just don't but know how yes. to use an espresso. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for the review, and there is a chance we might be going yeah. over there. But you're right; I didn't even think about that. We gotta be. We gotta. We gotta. Be, we gotta be. If it's strategic gonna happen, about be soon. it, <laughs> we gotta be strategic about it. Apparently, New York Comedy Club is doing a really cool outdoor uh, rooftop thing that ain't gonna last into the winter. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I was talking to him on the way here. Actually, he said it's so weird out there. He did not sound happy. Really? He was happy to hear from us, yeah. and, he, and he was like, "Man, if you and Brent come out, that'd be fucking amazing." <laughs> oh, wow. But he said, "Like Times Square. Think of Times Square. It's empty. It's empty. That's what you I know. Hear. Think about the cool areas like the East Village and all those restaurants that you yeah. just all this, the sidewalk culture. There's such a sidewalk culture in New York. It's not happening. Nothing. Everything's boarded up." Man, and, yeah, it's, and it's, you guys would go to do outdoor shows? No, we I were just we, gonna go because we have friends over there, and then like a getaway, obviously just jump a trip. on shows. Cute as shit that you're doing it <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. I did, I did say getaway, holding a pillow, I mean, guys, just a little getaway. Same shirts too. I mean, it's like you guys are about to say it the same time. Well, we wanted to do a get like yeah, we didn't plan this, by the way, with the shirts. We didn't walked, discuss yeah, wearing I the same. Shirts. I wish I did too. So all three of us just had yeah, the right. same idea. You're right. I did say getaway. Yeah, so, <laughs> like little... so romantic. Yeah, yeah we're so... not really planning on shows, but we'll do them. <laughs> we'll be busy. That was adorable. That kind of really hurt my. Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, Adidas. Wait, hold them up because we can't see them in the camera. Oh, they... You don't. Colombia. See those. Colombian. They're Colombian. Oh. Yeah, because they don't make shoes, but apparently they made these. Oh. They don't make shoes that you're wearing. Yeah. All right. You know, to be honest, <laughs> cut that whole fucking part because that was stupid. <laughs> And when I did that thing with my feet, I pulled something in here that went to my spine, and I see God right now. Oh, so oh, how's yeah. your how's back It's injury? terrible. It's still the same or it's better? It's better right now, but it's it's not good. My dad gave me some workouts, and I'm I'm trying them, but it's it's just oh. it's better. It's better. It's just a it's a testament to the fatty habits of of COVID we for me. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah Brent. We gotta, and I'm not should, kidding, by the way. Get, but I did that with this, and that's yeah. why I'm not lifting this now. When I did that, a, something shot into my spine. My penis just went. Nope. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Like something happened, my anus just shifted. <laughs> Close for business. <laughs> yeah. A lot various Whoa. locks with a little string lock. The storm's coming. That's what happened when I lift that leg. Hi, <laughs> board, board the windows. Board up the windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
What the crap we, boys we, up? It's too hooked. We can't we can't close it in. <laughs> we could joke about it, but I'm not kidding. This is like fucking saving private Ryan like he in, could use in Normandy. His... When he's like, and he can't hear anybody. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened when I put my feet up there to try oh. to be cute. Something on this side just snapped. I have to say, when you said it's too hooked, can it closes yeah. and locks. You can't close and shut. It's he, too actually, hooked. you could probably un- unlock it. <laughs> with his penis. With his hooked penis. Hold on, I'll unlock it. <laughs> Got it. Fuck. I can't. You're, it's the guy on the Mission Impossible Can team. I be honest? That's yes. a great bit. And it's my fault that I fault. said. So let's set the record straight. It's not a hook. <laughs> it's okay. It's a bit of a curve. It's curious. It's curious. My penis just did this. It went straight and went. What the fuck? <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's like his buddy was like, "Hey, hey, what? Huh? what's up, man?" <laughs> like a fucking beer it's cat. Like somebody across just, the street was yelling for him. Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, my neck. All right, that's Ow, my throat hurt. Oh fuck! <laughs> Damn that, it. Too bad I did that funny. penis bit in 2015. Apparently, oh, oh. Wait, what, which that was the Captain Hook one. Right? Oh, yes. Fuck! Yeah. I should have added that part. Anyway, what else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> guys. The AC's off, and I'm holding the pillow, and I just talked about my penis again. I miss New York, man. Yeah. Oh, I, I do too. <laughs> See, that's that. Our whole our sole purpose for going was literally a hang. That's just really to hang, cute. just yeah. to get a getaway. Yeah, I get a getaway. I get apparently, I get what I have friends over I there. It. But like, when I told Chris we might come out, Millhouse, yeah. he's like, "Oh, I mean, dude, don't expect." And I'm like, "No, no, we're not coming for work. We we're like yeah. coming for like a hang." If we jump on a show, we jump on a show. But it's said, just about being out. He said it's pretty crazy. Subways are empty. He said the That's trains crazy. are so empty, and like the streets, it's yeah. And then as it gets colder, it's going to be pretty cold by. Uh, mid-november probably yeah i always forget that's yeah. i totally forgot when you brought that up but yeah we're we're gonna jump on shows but there's nothing in the books if we go right. it's just we're gonna be there a getaway and we're, we're gonna have a moment Clearly. and then we'll be on shows and have a good time before God, uh, i can't wait till the shit is done i know so we can actually go to new york in the spring Fuck. Do some yeah. shows at the club. I had a whole week of shows in May booked. My first New York trip. Oh, like, I had it all ready. Clubs and everything. And I was like, nope, bye. Yeah. See yeah. you in fucking 2025. Maybe. As of now, we're still in April. Yeah, we had, that hasn't gotten canceled. It hasn't gotten canceled Gotham, yet. Gotham, right? Yeah. They don't have a rooftop, though. There's no alternative they could do. It's just literally that it's have to shut Now we got to wait to see what happens in this world. They just have scaffolding. scaffolding. Always. Oh, that building's never done. Stopped with a pillow. Okay. No, I got them right here. I know, but I, I was still holding it. Wow. Wow. So, Brent, how are you feeling? Honestly, that really did hurt when I did that. You're nuts. That hurt. Did we talk about this in the last podcast with my towels? No. No? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't? I thought we did. No, no but I know. Yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> They're still out there, aren't they? No, I, I finally oh, okay. had the courage <laughs> today. Okay, here's what happened. I have a spider problem. Everybody knows it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> But the other day, I saw a spider that was a human, and I walked out, and I had towels out for my nephew and his friends and stuff to swim. This spider was on top of the towel, turned, looked at me, and went, huh, and I closed this sliding door. The and, towels were out there for the next four days. Yeah, like yep. four or five days, because when I told you when you guys came over, yep. and then when you came back on Wednesday... You are, I mean, it feels like every day. We're here every but, day, yeah. I don't know. But you went, oh, you still haven't moved the fucking towels. I said, I wasn't kidding, Jason. I'm getting It's a weird-looking spider. He sent me a picture of it. Did he send you a picture? Yeah, I think it, it was like, yeah, I yeah. said, it was like a, there's a beast outside. It wasn't great. What I said. It had like a pink ass yeah, and then like a white dude. body. It was bad. Wait a minute. Was it Donald Trump? But a today. Hey, hey, careful. Bro. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to get taken off of you. Sorry. This morning. Yeah. You know what, dude? You have been on the edge. I know. Word. We're canceled. We're getting um, canceled. Bernstein. Um, topical but today i actually said brent suck it up you're not getting new towels be a man and just get the towels you so this morning i went to get the towels <laughs> i'm getting the ship yeah and the way i'm just going to show you how i did it i walked out i grabbed the towel and i went <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. And I had two towels gone. And then the other one I went. <laughs> I that's No 
more no ugly passes, please. That, please don't. <laughs> I'm just being honest with the public. The way I did the towels, I went, you fucking, you're not a man. Your dad used to grab bees nests. <laughs> I said, you go grab a towel. That spider's gone. And then. <laughs> <sighs> did you throw it in the wash, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like, not nah, burned it. <laughs> Boom. Spiders, I'm an arachnophobe. Pat, yeah, pat, I realize pat, that pat. about me too. That that is that is what I am. Yeah. That bothers me so much. Also, this is what I want to talk about. Maybe the the air quality is bad. I told you the other it day. Is. I've been killing flies like I'm fucking Mr. Miyaki. <laughs> the flies are slowing down. All of a sudden I'm going <laughs> <laughs> The other the, day, I, the I flies saw... Flies aren't trying to get away? I just went... <laughs> and I went, what, what's going on in this place? Like, I'm not kidding. There's something happening here. Yeah, flies are tripping lately. You saw the debate. They're fucking yeah. drunk or something. Yes! The yeah. VP debate when we that fly just about that. Yeah. landed on his head. Here's the funny part. A fly landing on his head, funny. But that motherfucker put down roots. He stayed on his head... <laughs> For like three minutes. Because he was stuck. He was just there like... God, the internet. Internet is... But then I'm like, of course he's a zombie. He's a zombie. There's so many accounts for the fly now. Oh. There's so many Instagram and Twitters for the fly. I, the Twitter account after... The, I posted it. There's some, there was a, a Twitter account. This, this had just happened minutes ago. There was a Twitter account that had 6,000 plus followers. Yeah. Internet the Narcissism always wins. is a little... I'm like, why can't I get mad about that? Yeah, <laughs> maybe I should have jumped on Pence's yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> Just you on the top. Imagine that fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just... to... Remember the, the 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 meme that was going around of, of the guy, the black dude with a giant penis? Oh, yeah. On everything? Yep. That happened. Oh, did it? Of course, Andrew Santino sent it to me. And when you yeah. zoom in on the fly, it's that that guy. I was, was it you who said the group? That's he go, funny. I don't even need to zoom in. Yep. I, know don't even need to zoom in. <laughs> I know exactly what That's it really is. That's really funny, actually. Yep. Yep. Dude's, but yeah, the oh, fly, man, that, that that was insane. And then he had pink eye at the same time. People were like, yo, he's got pink eye. He's yeah. got flies landing on him. Then I realized he's a dead body. He's a zombie. Jesus Christ. She was yeah. She was debating a zombie. And she was. De- I will oh, say, though, that, that debate, and I'm sorry we're going to be canceled for this. Careful. Here's how Mike Pence talks, by the way. And the other thing. Mike and know the fly. We're going to pray the gay away. We're going to pray the gay away. He's a fucking trip. And fuck. Fuck. I was and wondering if because mo- everybody in the room fucking saw it. Yeah, you know the moderator went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what's your plan for? <laughs> I mean, everybody saw it. I, I know Kamala was probably like, I ain't saying shit about that fly. I would have actually. I would say we talked about this too because the whole time I'm watching the debate, I was thinking Jason's yelling at the TV. Oh man, it but so happy. I also realized like whatever side you're on just off the shit show we saw before yeah. you a, gotta give it up for the master politician good debate, debate people that's you know? how debates go it was just a debate besides the they fly. disagreed on everything they ran the light is a comedy term yeah. for it they went a little over their time respectfully though respectfully but man and anytime he tried interrupting avoided her though, shit oh yeah damn she's like uh, yeah <laughs> yeah with that smile um mm See, I'm that's ta- where I'm the, talking now. the petty person in me would go, which is what Trump would do, but this is like the lack of intelligence I have and that he Trump has, is I would go, you got a fucking fly on your head. Like, that's oh, what I would have done. I know? wanted Kamala so bad to go, hey, fly boy. <laughs> <laughs> if she did that. I'm talking right. He'd whoa. probably be like, it's over. It's over. And okay, his dumb ass would be like, fly boy, I wasn't even in the air. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? That? I'm <laughs> stuck. Yeah. This fucking shit. Help. Mom, I mean that that thing looked like. Imagine that was like an iceberg to that fly, you know. Yeah, yeah. But when she would tell him, "I'm talking right now." Yeah, I'm talking. It was, great. and then she would do that long pause. Anyways, oh, yeah, it was oh, the shit. So that was the shit. Thing. And I was thinking, what would I do? I literally be like, "You're gonna fucking fly on your head, you piece of shit." But Fuck she, you. like, yeah. she was saying it. Yeah. Cause, but oh man, it was it was good debate. She was good politically. Was good. There was a both few things. Too, was, they were. It was it, it was politics. He was he was amazing at one thing, and I even tweeted about it. 
I said, it is imp- it, the, the, your skill of not answering the question yeah. was fucking brilliant. impressive. It was brilliant. brilliant. It was brilliant. He was so good at it. He deflected it, avoided it, and then distracted the public. Yeah, and because he's something. an articulate person, yeah. he didn't hum and haw like Trump yeah. would have. Yeah. Trump repeats himself and does that weird shit. He just went on about other shit. Mm-hmm. And, but he did it in a way where you go, wait a minute, what happened 20 minutes ago? Didn't right. he wait, supposed to? Wait, but the, but the question, <laughs> shit. I was like, fuck, because if they ask me, son, what do you think about this and this? I don't fucking know. Oh. Point is, I got a pillow. She I hurt my leg. In, she put him on check <laughs> a few times, though. There was that one part yeah. where she's like, first of all, there is only one person on this stage qualified to talk about da 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 da. Yeah. And there is only one person on this stage qualified to talk. And, and what was great about her doing it is she wasn't shit talking and smiling at the camera. She just was looking she like right at looked him. right at him and like you motherfucker, and he he couldn't look at her in the eyes, Mm-mm. and he would just shake his head. Him, he didn't seem human. No, that was the difference. She was very human. She's a person. She yeah. she I see Mamala. Yeah. You know her daughter. Her kids call her Mamala. Yeah, and I saw that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is, she's, she's a mom in the best way. Best too, where way. you're like, I love her. Yeah, she loves me. But I respect the shit out of her. Yep. And I know she'll jack slap my better half if yep. I step out of line. Yeah. You know what I mean? Articulate and yeah, you better was... be home by midnight, you know? Oh, man, it was so good. It was so fucking good to watch. It It was, I, I was wondering where is this going to, because I can't picture Pence being like Trump. No, he's, he's not. He's, he's an really like just, politician. He's really level. He, yeah, he's he's beige. He was he. You know what beige. I mean? He's very exactly middle of the is. road. But he's beige. been broken from years of just doing oh, service. Man, the, the to dip- the point that it just this is what me and Jason were talking about. I know we get canceled for the last step, but like we're not just a full. We're Trump haters. That's it. Yeah, yeah. But the what, what, what they call them skills, never Trumpers. Yeah. But the politics, I went, what? okay, that this is kind of brilliant. Killing the I've game right now. Shit. He's yeah. politicking the shit out of this thing right now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't agree with half the shit he said, but... But he didn't say anything. Exactly. There was That's nothing the to agree with. It was crazy. It was really crazy. And, of course, he did he did flat-out lie about a lot of shit. Yeah. Because that's the thing that's crazy about people that support people blindly is you could literally flip open your laptop while he's talking and go, oh, I wonder if that's true. Yep. Especially mm. now. You know? Yeah. And uh, she did She did avoid – she did it once on the on – Yeah, the, she did it on the, on the Supreme Court. On the subject of stacking the court, she did yeah. She did avoid it, which – Which was I, brilliant and what she did too. Yeah. She also, gave a little history lesson. Also on top of that though, if you think about it, imagine – like if you're running for president, that's one thing. But if you're vice president or vice president – presidential candidate Mm -hmm. now you're speaking on behalf of the person that you're running yeah that is wildly more stressful to me than if i ran for president and now that you say that i do notice i did notice that she talked joe up a lot she's like and that is what joe will do for you yeah he rarely said trump's name he said you know Give us a second term. Yeah. We're going to keep doing this. But he never was like, and that's why you got to go with Donald Trump. He maybe yeah. said it a few times, but not nearly as much. Because right now, he's unattractive. Yep. The guy's the guy's sick. He's got the coronavirus. He's pretending he found Corona a cure. The bone. He's got full... And then he's pretending and that he found a cure. And nobody takes his phone away because he gets on steroids and he roid rage texts. <laughs> Dude, he went on... Uh, Tweets. That's he crazy. went on Rush our, Limbaugh. Our president tweets. Yeah, he went on Rush. Li- <laughs> he went on a Rush Limbaugh. Oh, of course, which is a huge pro-Trump. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. And Limbaugh even called him out a little bit. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. A caller called in. First of all, they they called this thing the largest virtual ra- rally in history or something. They made it like a rally, and someone called in and asked Trump, "What are you going to do about pre-existing conditions?" And he immediately just went on a rant about the Democrats. And then at the end of it, Rush Limbaugh goes, but it would be nice to get an answer to that question. What are what are you going to do about it? And his answer was this. We got a plan. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, he, he's nuts. He thinks he's got the cure for yep. the coronavirus. He, as early as tomorrow, today is uh, for us, for you guys, this is a Monday podcast, but we're recording this on a Friday. No, you gave it away. I know. I'm bringing you behind the scenes. But 
Sunday brunch for Monday has Sunday been gone until we can open the up again. Coronavirus fucked that up, okay? Post Malone is our next guest. Yeah. Oh, don't it's, say it. <laughs> Brent, you really a, gave that one away. Ah, that was supposed to be a big surprise. Joke on the last one. That was a big surprise. <laughs> but um, <laughs> th- Donald Trump has the coronavirus. It's Friday right now. He's talking rally as early as tomorrow, Saturday. It's crazy. I don't think it's going to happen, cause, and if it does, it's like, what? But yeah, he's touting that he has a cure. There's no cure. There's not. <laughs> we don't doesn't have exist. This, man. <laughs> doesn't exist. But yeah, that uh, fly on the head thing was phenomenal. Dude, speaking of speaking of flies, when I, I when I lived in West Hollywood for a little while, we had a I had a fly problem. It was mm-hmm. in a one bedroom apartment. I killed thirty house flies. Think about that in a one bedroom. Thirty big boys. Oof. Thirty, bro. Really? I counted and I laid them all out like a like a like I'm a bounty hunter. Okay. One well, time, Elaine little, and I got home. That's from, a little. It was a for a thing. Elaine and killer. I got home from something one time. This was fucking crazy. We left the back screen door open for the dogs. We got home. The ceiling of our living room was covered in mosquitoes oh. on the ceiling. It was the weirdest thing I have ever seen. I'm like, this... Like how many? Like Too many to count. Wow. I can't say, oh, there was like five up there. There was way more than that. They were on the fucking ceiling of the living room and then the adjacent bedroom. Jesus. And I had to start... I sprayed them. It, I got rid of them, but it was the weirdest. Yeah. Like, am I... Gonna be possessed. Did you figure yeah. out what it was? It's like haunted. <laughs> I did yeah. figure out what it was. It was a lot of mosquitoes on the ceiling. Oh wow! <laughs> how did you figure that? Out? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. And it was. You know, how you got those little tiny, fucking, ankle biter ones. Yeah. Yeah. And I then also there's wanted... those bigger ones, that like almost look like uh, they're just bigger. They move a little slower and shit. Yeah. It was those kind. It was weird. Can I just say one thing, though, about the mosquitoes and what he's asking? I don't want to say there's like a poltergeist in your house, but that... the last few times I've been to your house, a chair opened the door. <laughs> a chair so... opened the door. <laughs> Sounds scary. Jason. Imagine that. Yeah. The door opens and there's just a chair sitting there. By the way. Am d- I supposed to sit down? Yeah, what? We didn't talk about this. I watched the Nick Cage movie you were talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what freaked me Did out I the talk most? about that on the podcast? Mm-hmm. We oh, talked yeah. about. Oh, Pay the Ghost. Pay the Ghost. Fuck off, because I got stoned and I watched it, and it, watch it. freaked it's me out. Good. You know what really freaked me out though? Huh. And this doesn't give anything away if you want to watch it. The Razor scooter that. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that what nobody's on, and then just shh. Yep. Beep. And that there's the, a I'm Razor like, scooter scooting around the house like someone's riding it, and then it the rides right up to the mom, and then just goes, and falls over. Hey, it freaked me out. Guess what happens with me in that situation? Penis into the box. <laughs> lock it up. No curvature to unlock it. And then getting out of here, boy. Run. <laughs> Is anything Elaine, else? we're selling the house. Anything, you know, yeah. you have a wife and kids and dogs. What I had is blood red furniture and me alone <laughs> watching a scooter and then But weren't you watching it with Matt who also who has a small Yeah, but child? he was asleep. So he, he he wasn't paying attention. Oh, so I, I'm basically by myself, and I just always look down my hall, just thinking like, what if somebody like a big person just went, like you know what I mean, like yeah. down a hall when you're you saying like a hall. large man. Yeah, but I've always <laughs> wondered. Do you know how you see like uh, raising Arizona with yes. the, the guy in the motorcycle? You know oh, that dude. Yeah. yeah. I always in this house by myself. Text just look when I'm turning lights off before I go to bed. I always look down the hall going, don't. And I just picture that that person's going to go, hey. And I and I would think. <laughs> you, ever, you, know? <laughs> you ever feel like someone's right behind you? Always. Every and day. And when you're alone in your right house now. and everything gets really quiet and it goes. Like it makes that weird, too yep. quiet noise. And then you feel like someone's like right behind you looking at you like this. I always, I never turn around because I'm afraid that when I turn around, they're going to be like, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to fucking sell my house and move. Do you ever have to look behind? I look behind the shower curtain sometimes. You ever do that before you go to sleep? Oh, yeah. I don't have a shower curtain. It's a well, so I don't have door. as much money. So Well, mm-hmm. I haven't been in that one since the uh, the goddamn thing came off. shower head came off and burned me and scalded me. Do you need help with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, but there also was a, a big spider in there, and uh, so I haven't opened it in a couple months. Mm-hmm. This one, though, which I'm working on, is... Uh, That's, they have a curtain in there. Yeah, you ever, do, you ever just? Oh, it's terrifying. Case. It's terrifying. It's a terrifying time when I'm by myself. You know what really freaks me out? But it also is kind of nostalgic, and you'll appreciate this, Jason. Hmm. When I leave 
like in my garage, I, I do art and all that stuff, but I leave the light on in there sometimes. So at night, I'll see it from here, like in the lion's den, and it's terrifying. The first thought I have is it's terrifying to see an open garage mm. with a light on with a red carpet. Jesus, Brent, stop getting red. But it's in there. But then part of me goes, I wonder if E.T.'s in there. Like something in Make me it cute. thinks about, Make it cute. you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. a little nostalgic yeah. where I go, that's what keeps me from like wanting Ugh. to lose my shit is maybe E.T.'s in there. I went looking for E.T. when I was a kid when that movie came out. You yeah. understand I was 10 years old. Oh, it's perfect Tenor, age. Let's see, 82, 83, 82. I was 11 years old, and I wanted so bad. And and there's this area in Long Beach called Signal Hill. It's completely inhabited, inhabited, inhabited now. It's covered with home, beautiful homes and businesses. But when I was a kid, it was just an empty hill. It was an oil hill. So if you ever, if you remember the scene in ET when they went into the wilderness and up into the hills, and that's where he found them and shit or whatever. I would ride up there on my bike hoping to find oh, a friendly cute. a friendly extraterrestrial. And then we never heard from Jason and then again. You never, and then I was kidnapped, and it was <laughs> yeah, just terrible. Yeah, that sounds like the beginning of a kidnapping. You know what's so funny? E. And back then in the 80s and 70s, they were kidnapping the shit out of kids, man. Okay, so <laughs> next... <laughs> They were they were coming at us. <laughs> People were weird as shit. I remember I was. I was <laughs> it's true, man. I know, but you said it so nonchalant. Like they were kidnapping the shit out of kids. <laughs> they were, and then serial killers were still on the loose and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, there wasn't the internet. You didn't. People have were iPhones, crazy, bro. man. I remember I was riding my bike home one time, and I and then, and I was, I came to the parking lot of the grocery store, and it was the exit to the yeah. parking lot and this old guy I'll never forget the car it was a 1964 Chevrolet Impala and the guy stopped older man senior citizen still was, still was wearing like an old guy 50s fedora thick thick glasses he stops I stop and he goes like this go ahead tells me to go so I was like alright so I go and as soon as I get in front of the car he hits the gas and, and, and hit me backed up and rolled out what? Wow. Yeah. Well, that is, dude. Seventies and eighties were wild, dude. <laughs> they were just and they and we <laughs> and the thing is, we we rolled out. We we didn't have cell phones or any of that shit, and we were just like, bye. Wow. That's and so a, weird to me. There's a different way of parenting. Like my dad was literally of the, of this of the old school of which is your parents get out of the house by nine o'clock yep. and don't come back here until five. Be out doing shit. Mm -hmm. He hated laying around the house doing nothing. Yeah, my d my dad literally goes, uh, take the city bus, go in the go into the yep. city. We took the city bus everywhere. My mom was furious. Think about <laughs> think about your parents. Well, it was eighty. I don't know. You're eight, well, how old were you when you had your first cell phone and you were able to keep keep in contact with your parents and everything? Um, I got a cell phone when I was a senior. I I, I talked about that. That was yeah. Okay. I was on the age of when shit was starting. Right. And See, I had a phone that looked like a house phone. Right. I, the girl I like goes, can I use that after you? And I was thinking, what? And she goes, that's the house phone, right? That's what my cell phone looked right. like. So but, I think about this. My parents, when I left the house, it was literally like, hope that kid makes it back. You can't check <laughs> yeah, in on him. That's bizarre. Do you know what I mean? Such a different way to live. I mean, yeah. truly, as a parent. It's, it's kind of so great, bizarre. though, because you go out and you fuck up and you do yeah, shit. Yeah, better and, for sure. Man, when I yeah. fell down a tree, one tree I fell down was, and you've been in my neighborhood, you see all mm -hmm. the trees and the bullshit. Yeah. I remember there was a tree. I literally hit every goddamn branch when I went down. And you, you know that fucking, like the news lady with the, when she falls on her back. And, oh, 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 and, yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, 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 I can't breathe. Oh, oh. I literally landed and went, <laughs> like I was like and mom and dad had no oh. idea dude you showed up bleeding <laughs> you couldn't call them and go mom I gotta get it you just showed up bleeding and they had to like kind of put it together like a detective yeah. okay fuck your arms facing the wrong way and you're like oh shit what happened you know <laughs> yeah but man it was crazy man it was fun yeah. time I mean yeah they I were mean coming at obviously it was even more aggressive when you grew up for sure yep. I mean go ahead and it was, <laughs> you, have to, you know that whole saying it takes a it takes a village yeah dudes people would fucking hit other people's kids <laughs> yeah. to, like yeah. disciplining them yeah it never happened to me because I know my dad would have not had that shit. My dad yeah. would have fucked somebody up. I mean, I had a baseball coach. I think I've talked about this before. Throw a 
he threw a baseball bat at me and my dad almost killed him the next yeah. day. Yeah. But there was that whole thing is of like, you can grab another person's kid like, yeah, hey, hey, settle yeah. down. Hey, Jim, yeah. your kid's fucking up over here. And Jim's yeah. like, flipping burgers, well, fucking pop them once. <laughs> yeah. It's kind yeah, it was of a nice different time. Though. I mean, I ever, I mean, every time my kids left the house, I always had a way to keep in communication with yeah. them. I gave them the specific instructions as to when and where and why to contact me. My parents, it was literally like, here's a dime. Call me if you find a, because it was a dime back then. Call me if you get to get to a payphone and try to call me or use your Dime. friend's parents' it's like phone. Serpico. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I love that. I will say, uh, with my friends doing that thing, like you go out to piss and then they leave, and I had that bit that I, I can't talk about now, but the thing where they just drive away. Mm-hmm. I had friends who actually just left me, and, cause, and I set the precedent because I had done too many silly things. So my thing was I could walk back to his place or commit to this. Mm-hmm. So I would hitchhike a lot. So I hitchhiked home. Yeah. And this nice family took me home once. But then... To their home. Yeah. Well, they took they me back me to up. my place. But the amount of trust I had in these people for no reason. But then cut to we shut down a highway by accident. Mm. Not by accident. But um, we were on the highway and we all were going to a concert. And I'm like 19, I think, or 18. No, I was 16. What, who gives a shit, Brian? Story anyway, literally, it's 65 miles an hour, right? Mm-hmm. So all four of us on a four-lane highway decided to slow down to 20 to see how long we can get the traffic to stop behind us. Mm-hmm. But we're, and, and we're all boozing, and we have pickups and all this shit. Really caused a real problem. And uh, to the point that we, you know, people were really mad. Cops were mad. So one of my friends got arrested. Uh, anyway, me and my buddy, who you've never met, uh, actually, maybe you met him once, but we're out in the middle of nowhere in Massachusetts and we're like well we're still going to the concert like I don't give a shit and I said let's hitchhike and there was a red pickup truck I go hey you heading that way we're gonna go we're going to the the amphitheater yeah jump in the back Dude. this guy though got so weird <laughs> he got so weird so fast <laughs> And the funniest thing is my buddy, because he got like, so you boys like to like play around and da da da, like shit like that. Oof. And then at a stoplight, my buddy just looks and, you know, they got the little thing when the guy's driving. He goes, Are you going to rape us? <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy tried to speed off and he goes, Jump. And we jumped out. Oh, jeez. Of the car, Jesus I'll Christ. never forget him guy's going, like, Are you so going to rape us? <laughs> he's driving you guys and he goes, So dressing like a girl's cool, right? Yeah, we were just. And you're like, uh, uh, I'm pretty I, tan. I What's your name? You're tan. Because my friend didn't have a shirt on. Oh, he goes, you're pretty tan though. Well, I remember hitchhiking like, with my dad. We would hitchhike. Us? My dad with my dad. My dad would go, like, hey, we're gonna go to this thing, and I'm. Wow. It was just a way of life. Seventies. Yeah, back you know? in the day, that was a thing. Where are we going, Dad? Where are the fucking thumb takes us? No, but yeah, your hitchhiking was a thing, that, and, yeah. and 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 it was just danger was just a way of life yeah you know now you gotta be and i was in the gotta safe be, generation yeah you weren't you gotta be <laughs> any i gotta know where you are i gotta know how long you're gonna be there i got da, da, da. and play dates that became a fucking play thing dates, that was yeah. not a thing when i was a kid i don't really think i did play dates with my kids but i remember thinking like when i hear parents going yeah i gotta take someone's over to their friend's house we got a play date and i'm like play date yeah, I was just leaving the house when I was a kid. Mm. You know, you fucking found somebody. You want to play? <laughs> yeah, I guess we're playing, and that was a play date. Yeah, let's just uh, throw rocks at cars right. on on a holiday. Right. See, we, when in my neighborhood, I lived in this apartment complex. It was the, uh, it was a, it was an apartment com- complex. Which it was just tons of kids. It was it wasn't a great place, <laughs> by far. But I bet it was great. Though, it was huh? great. Halloween was amazing because the entire place was children. That's awesome. Because I didn't realize that there was still, they still hadn't passed the discrimination law about uh, kids because there was a lot of apartments that are like no kids allowed. Oh, I didn't can't, even know that was a thing. Yeah. So we lived in one of the ones that was a, the ones that we could afford that still allowed children. So that fucker was packed with kids. Wow. Packed with kids, but there That's was always awesome. weirdos. Like, don't go by apartment seven. That guy, will, <laughs> he'll invite you in for no fucking reason, you know? Yeah. You but, kids like baseball? Oh, uh, uh, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was a crazy apartment complex. I mean, me and my brother had this, we had this best friend. Her name was Deanna, uh, RIP. Um, sh- her mom or 
she was dating a guy or something and there was a fight they lived in an upstairs unit and a guy got thrown through the fucking window <laughs> yeah oh, Jesus. it was it was it was a wild fucking place but it was cool yeah. because halloween was insane because you had like 15 kids trick-or-treating together just running and just around a bunch of different groups it That's was cool it was really cool but yeah but those it's like it was like dangerous as shit even the playground equipment was different like oh, why yeah. why metal. is that steel yeah. <laughs> yeah. why why yeah. am i going down a metal slide yeah. I'm in, in the middle beach. of summer yeah. in shorts <laughs> we third degree burn. Are... Fuck. how'd you get that third degree burn on your leg yeah. playing I'm outside playing. my play date were you I was kidnapped playing. <laughs> i was playing in 1980 yeah, I was playing in 1980 but you weren't kidnapped though right no. they're kidnapping the shit out of people <laughs> close oh man we got it was always so Wee, close fuck. <laughs> we almost got kidnapped so much now that i think back man motherfuckers were coming at kids i gotta tell you that's that's real. Yeah, i love the way he talks about that. that's so funny that's real man now that i'm man, thinking about motherfuckers it, are coming at kids. Man, <laughs> and then if you're a perv that apartment complex was like heaven that had to be wait which one allows the kids oh. were you planning on having kids <laughs> i'm not even married when do i move in <laughs> yeah so how many kids do you have in this unit um i don't know uh 20 perfect so uh, first and last perfect I can use a long chair out by. Do you have a pool? Oh, well, it's man. empty. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That apartment complex is still there. Really? And it became uh, college. A bunch of college kids moved in there. It became, they they redid sense. it. It got bought by new people. And it's it's very close to Cal State Long Beach. So that was just kind of now it's where all the college kids That's live. That's cool. When back when I was a kid, it was a bunch of families. It was just families bunch and kidnappers. Po ass, <laughs> po ass families and perverts. <laughs> The trip, but yeah, that's how a play date worked back then too. You walked outside and you looked at a kid and you went, "I have Luke Skywalker." He's like, "I got Darth Vader." Fuck it, we're playing together. We're you know? playing together, and then we got kidnapped. <laughs> we got kidnapped. We play together. We get kidnapped together. We got we're kidnapped. boys. The guy that kidnapped that has all the action figures. <laughs> Is that fucking Luke? <laughs> yeah, <How> about it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay. I got Luke. I got Kenobi. Yeah. I got all of them. I even got the sets. Come on in. Okay. All right. I really trust your shorts, but <laughs> I really want those toys. This might change everything in my life, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your testicle through the... Okay. All right. Your shorts are real short. Why do you have slippers and socks and... Just don't ask questions. He's tucking in his shirt to his shorts. <laughs> but I really want see through peels right there. Yeah, come on in. It's yours. Mm. Oh, creepy. Come on in. It's okay. yours. Okay. Yeah, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> then we saw him 30 years later. Yeah. All right. We have emails. Yes. Uh, I also want to shout out. Uh, the sh we didn't do the I Am Carlos shirt yet. We should shout that oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is great. It's another shirt we got, which is a hilarious I am Carlos. It's so shirt. funny. It's a really impossible shirt great. for us to wear, though. But it's <laughs> so great. So funny. I got a. I had. I don't have it with me, but I got a, a, a cool Detective Jason shirt. Too. Oh yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah. He got a Detective Jason. Oh, you shirt. You sent me a picture. I didn't see it. I will. And I had. A, I. I got a nighty as well. You're oh, kidding. that's right. You got a panda yeah. nighty. Which I did wear. Giant. I did wear. <laughs> they sent him a giant. Show me giant... after. I want to see. I didn't know this was a thing. The yeah. panda on the back. It says, uh, "Hey, if anything happens, please put pants on me before you call for help." Like really? Says How something the fuck like that. do you not show me this? This is hilarious. I forgot. We oh also got God. our green room writers printed up. Oh yes, yeah, that was hilarious. We're gonna we're gonna read those. Yeah. For the next vlog. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That'll be our vlog. We'll read our re writers. They're and then we'll frame hilarious. them and put them in this this yeah, place yeah, yeah. somewhere. So emails. We got uh, first one here from Tyler. Uh, the subject line, is, subject line is wrong songs. Um, hi lions. I had a thought while listening while listening this week. And hey, will say it again. Hi lions. Hi lions. I had a thought while listening this week, and surprisingly, it wasn't about food for once. Are there any songs in which you are certain of the lyrics only to find out you are wrong? Oh, yeah. In the '90s, my brother thought Fat Boy Slim songs "Funk Soul Brother" was actually "Funk's Older Brother." <laughs> He also thought the Trooper... I'll just get through this and we can do ours That's after. Great. Uh, he also thought the Trooper song was Race a Little Hound instead of the real lyrics, Raise a Little Hell. More recently, I thought the beginning of the of WAP was There's Some Rules in This House. <laughs> Turns out there's whores in this house. Not there's rules. Some rules in this house. Yeah. And finally, Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga were singing I'd rather be drunk that at least I'm alive to me, but apparently they'd rather be dry, not drunk. 
I think that was 2020's fault, though. Anyways, dry? Th- thanks. I mean, it's, I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Maybe that's what they thought she was hmm. saying. Anyways, thanks again for the last, Tyler. So many songs. Can um, I just say oh, this, this one? Is a, Wait, uh, can this I, is a, a girl, by the way, Tyler. She's the, the Goody Rings girl. Oh. But she wrote in some food oh, stuff. And yeah, we were yeah, like, yeah. I think we probably, yeah. Goody Rings. Can I just say this real quick, oh, just yeah. for me, because you know I don't know lyrics. Jason always schools me on lyrics. But off the Lady Gaga thing, I always thought Poker Face said, but, but, but fuck her her face oh like but, 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 but her fa- yeah yeah, yeah i can but, see but, 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 it but, but, i always face, said it but, but, but fuck, fuck her face fa- like i was like but wow, fuck how her are they getting away face? with that yeah that's what i there was always a prince, thought there's a prince song uh that was really popular that's called erotic city and the lyric is technically is we can funk until the dawn making love to cherries and if, all growing up, I thought he was saying, we could fucking till the dawn, making the... Yeah. And if you listen to it, it sound, I feel like Prince is getting one yeah. over on people. Because I really feel like that's what he was saying. He's like, I'm going to say this, but I'm going to But you know this. what I mean. Yeah. There's a lot of songs in the 80s that I, that a, a lot of mistaken lyrics. A, a, as a matter of fact, there was a show that they did every weekend. I can't remember what radio station it was. It was like an 80s flashback show. And that was one of the fun call-in games. Is people would call in and say what they thought the lyrics said. But dude, there's one that that's so funny to me. There's a Billy Idol song called "Eyes Without a Face." Eyes without a face. It's an old Billy Idol song. My buddy Aaron and my buddy Anthony, <laughs> shout out Anthony Norman, Aaron Goldman. They thought it was saying. Now, mind you, we're young kids. They thought it was saying, "How's about a date?" <laughs> what are the lyrics? Eyes without a face. How's about, How's about a date? <laughs> How's about it, dude? It's so funny. There's another '80s song called uh, "Voices Carry." Keep it down now, voices carry. I thought it was saying you are so scary. <laughs> That's a good one. Also, the way he just sang that was so good. Yeah, I kind of forgot what we were talking now. about. You're so scary. <laughs> so good. Uh, Anytime I try to sing something in front of him, he goes, wrong lyrics? You know, <laughs> that's just me all the time. When you know the world is down. Nope. Mm-hmm. Whatever the hell. It, I didn't have a song in my head, and I just did the Billy Idol one. So, next. <laughs> can you? What about you, Will? I can't think of any. I know it's happened a bunch of times. Couldn't, I can Because you never, ever get the lyrics wrong to Drake. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I have. Of course. <laughs> but I just can't think of a top of my mouth. I'm so bad at lyrics. There's good so ones. I want people that. to send us theirs. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Send actually, those in. yeah. Send us send us your your songs. What he just said, yep. I just said a little <laughs> he louder. He just tried to church up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I the thing I said up. simply that he churched up. <laughs> I churched now, up. Now that's what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> people were like, oh, oh when oh, Brett said it, that oh, really hurt. Okay. Oh. So now he it got loud sense. and weird <laughs> and hurt my ears. So, yeah, what he just said, just do that. This next one's from Madeline from Sweden. Uh, I've been binging you guys. Oh, a uh, subject line is, can there be too much Lion's Den? I've been bi- I've been binging you guys on Patreon for the past week since I'm finally back on there and I re-listened to the old episodes at work. It might have fucked with my brain, though. I've had so many dreams about Brent. Smiley face. Hook penis and all the other looniness that is Brent. <laughs> uh, last night's dream was about dip. Keep yeah. up the good work. I'm excited to, uh, excited and a little bit scared of where these dreams will take me next, Madeline. Keep like us- dipping? Keep us Probably, posted. We've, we've talked about dip, yeah. Yeah, dipping. We were talking about this shit. Hook oh, penis. I wonder if this is this is me and her dream. I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> bombed. Next. <laughs> we got a would you rather from Angie. Yes. Hi guys. Would you Angie. rather would you rather ask your future self a question? Or would you rather tell your past self something that could change the outcome of your life? Definitely the second one. Yeah. Definitely second one. Cause I like not knowing the future. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to know the future. Yeah. But if I can go back and say, this is what you fucked up, here's what you need to do differently. But also, do you think you are who you are because of your past and your mistakes and shit? Exactly. Yeah. I want to be better. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Jay, Jay, we're holding pillows. Yeah, Will. <laughs> we want to be better. I want to be All better right, at fair. this shit. Yeah, that makes sense. I just want my past self to come to me and go, hey, idiot, get surgery now on the head. <laughs> You're going to ruin everything. If I could go back to my past self as a, when I'm already doing stand-up, how I am now, uh-huh. my past self would be like, oh, am I that fucking big? <laughs> Man, you look good, me. Damn, older me. Are you sick or is this health? Well, I'm healthy now. 
If I could go back to my past self doing stand up off what you said, this is all I would say. Slower. <laughs> slower. No, no, I would say this. Calm if you, down. Or talk about something. Something. <laughs> Stop pacing. Stop pace. Just sit still. Slower. Oh, Mike mine is, in the mic stand. Mine is swearing. <laughs> Stop swearing so much. I was always swearing though. F bombing for no reason. So you went to the fucking thing in the fucking fucking in the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, the fuck, fucking, fuck, fuck, fuck. My fucking, fucking, fucking. The fuck, fuck, fucking. My, my one year special would have been called fuck. <laughs> I want to see that. Art, or that, fuck for no reason. I want to see that art for your special yeah. with Big Jason. Fuck yeah, for no reason. Slower. Fuck for no reason. <laughs> you guys yeah. ever fucking hang out in the fucking place with the fucking thing? Why? We all were doing that because we were nervous. I remember getting this. This there was this professional crew that came out to to tape our sets. Will, uh, Phil Verone set it up. He's like, you guys are going to get amazing tape. It was at the improv, multi-cameras, mic'd audience. I'm like, yes. And I crushed. I did well. And I'm like, can't wait to watch the tape. A minute in, I'm like, I can't, I can't submit this to anyone. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> wait, did you know that? Fuck, fuck, after fuck. or during? Were you during? After like, when I watched yeah. it. During, it wasn't, yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, registering. Yeah, yeah. But ever since then, I try to, like, there's a, there's a, uh, uh, Laugh Factory posted one of my bits just within the last year or so where I'm talking about the airline mm, stuff. Yeah. It's crushing. But man, I'm swearing a lot to the point where a couple people commented. Huh. This is so funny. You don't even need the swear words. But you get... <sighs> you get caught up. You yeah, get caught up and you, and you start talking to your audience. Yeah. You start talking to the audience that's there now. And, and that audience was rowdy. Yeah. And when I swore, they laughed more. It was, you know, you just kind of. Yeah, we're new. Yeah. We're, we're doing things because we don't do that. And like having to put TV sets together Ugh. is where I really realized, like, that made really me realized. But so I realized, nervous. like, oh man, how do I do it without this? And that when I took the swears out, I go, I don't, why am I swearing? I don't mm -hmm. need these. Right. And, and you're we're not funny even, without the swear. Yeah, yeah. we're not. And even the swear's not the punchline. Exactly. Yeah. And we're not clean comics, but our shows when we do our shows. Oh, yeah, aren't I talk about really, pig fucking. But anyways. By the way, the, when uh, you sent to, Jason's been going through a lot of his old sets, so he's been sending them. But I actually looked at an old set of mine from the haha -ha when mm -hmm. I started. Big sweater. I would love to see that. Camouflage this, hat. I know I remember the hat. <laughs> and it's, you know, stationary at the haha -ha like that. It was just me in and out of frame doing this. Yep. And basically, this was my act. The fuck are you gonna fucking do? Paper towels are fucking weird. And the fucking thing is that they don't have fucking. Yeah, you fucking know. You don't even fucking. What, 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 oh, I'm gonna, man. What, what. I remember that I military. Went, oh that you my are. god! Why did I ever think anything would happen in my life? I would love to see that fucking clip. That he so wore a military like, hat. Yeah. A military. It was hat? like an army hat. That yeah. was like. It, it yeah, was it, bad. It wasn't a baseball cap. It no. was a cap. Ugh. Yeah. I. Yeah. yeah. Hey but. man, <laughs> it was different. <laughs> hey, I'm the one dumb shit. So. Remember the first time you w had to put a, a five minute TV set together, and the thing is, is I went too fast. I I, tr I tried to become a thirty minute hour comic too quick. Yeah, and I and I that's another thing I would say. Is slow down on that. Get that get that hot five, because then when it came time to do the five, when I got the opportunity, I was like, all of my bits are longer than five minutes. Yeah, what am I gonna do? For five minutes, and but then I figured it out. And yeah, it was the you best. murdered it. I think it was the best. I think that they said it was the best late night set in history of comedy. I is what I, what I heard. Sure. Yeah, I saw yeah, the yeah. plaque. Yeah, there was a plaque. Yeah, they I put a plaque, plaque up. I will sense. say it is. It is uh, Nate Bergazzi. I I love He's some of his great. late night sets, but yours was like to me one of the most out of our friend. I want to. I want. I'm wondering if it Nate's up. a friend too. And we watched it recently. It does. It's it's fucking great. And not a, not only that, you look great, but then also when I lost you're the giggling with fucking Justin and shit, and you're just playing it cool. And I'm like, man, that's that right when I was fucking down bad. in size, had lost the weight, got the jawline back. I wasn't wearing glasses yet, but I was. I remember. I remember buying the shirt for the show. I'm like, get on this Patreon. Is large. You can watch it if well, you want. Not in it's not there. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, well, never down. mind then. They take it but down. Get on Patreon. Get on Patreon Why do I keep looking at this like that's the fucking? I don't know. As long anyway. as you guys sometimes look all in different places. It's fun. I'm looking at the screen. Yeah. Because I'm crazy. Got another email? We do. Yay! We have an email from Amber. <laughs> the subject line is uh, "Shadow People." Whoa! Oh, all right. Right. I got so excited when Sh Jason hey, it's mentioned October. Yeah, I got so excited when Jason mentioned Shadow People. Growing up, I got sleep paralysis pretty often. I actually thought that was just how nightmares work, and that it was the same for everyone. 
dumb kid brain. Anyway, around high school, I started to see shadow people, and in college, it happened a lot. So much that I actually learned learned how to wake myself up from it. I would put all my focus on into moving just one finger, and that would and that would break it. Yep. One of the times it happened, I was trying so hard to move, I ended up flinging my arm across my body and flipping myself out of bed and crashing into a table tray. Jeez. Since it was college, I was honestly just relieved that the night before I had moved my bong to the shelf and off <laughs> said table tray. Love you guys, Amber. That's how I knew wow. it was college, because she had a table tray. Yeah, what the hell's a uh, table tray? Have you guys ever had that sleep paralysis shit? Oh, yeah. It's fucking yeah, it's terrifying. terrifying. And you feel yeah. like someone's on top of you, and you're like... Yeah. And you're like awake and not awake. Uh, and, and, and she's right. You just go like this. Oh, I'm out of it. You, yeah, know? you can get and try to get out of it. You, know? you never Ooh, had that's that? That's scary. Sometimes. Not like a, a bunch. I don't really have a lot of nightmares or shit. Yeah, Will's got his, Will's got his shit together. Let's just put yeah, it that way. I know. Honestly. Will's Mr. Fucking Perfect. Yeah, Nothing ever what, happens. Will? I didn't say anything. You know what, dude? I'm so sick and tired <laughs> well, of your shit. Well, you're holding the pillow when you're... Bro. What? You, are you guys trying to look tough? Because it's not working. Hey, pay attention to us. Ooh. We're professionals. <laughs> you're being ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> You guys want to watch a scary movie? Yeah. No, not only if you stay though. Oh, I'm staying. You never stay. I'm staying. You just tell me a movie I'm watch and basketball. then I fucking watch it and then I'm depressed and weird and then everything's scary and now I have lions. <laughs> There's a movie that I've watched a few times. It's 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 I can't remember the name of it. My brother, and my sons all make fun of me because I'm scared. It scares me and they don't think it's scary. It's the one where you can't go into the dark if you're in the dark. The ghosts can get you. Oh, uh, um, it follows maybe. No, 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 it follows is dope. The opening to it follows is, is great. insane. But this one is called. It's some. It, I think it might have the word dark in it. But I don't lights know. lights out. No, I can't. I can't remember the name of it. You know what? Um, not to interrupt. If you're still trying to find it, you can find it. I was just gonna say. No, go ahead. The uh, my dad's thinks the scariest movie ever is Willy Wonka. To him, that's like he's like that's the scariest movie for me. <laughs> It's how terrifying. terrifying. It, it, it's really, it is. Terrifying. It actually is. And at first, I was like, ah, if you think about it, with like the yeah. guy with kids and stuff, and it's all just little, this loopy world, and it's yeah, like, yeah. It's and those little it orange guys that scary. don't yeah. talk, but they just show up. When it's he pretty go, scary. Remember how he got? How he called them? He had yeah. that little flute. He had the little Oompa Loompa flute. Yeah. And he would go. I don't. I've never liked it. It's like too. No. Yeah. The song is terrifying. Oompa. Yeah, dude, it's scary as fuck. If you think about it. You know the scariest movie I always think about. What would you say if your kid was a right? Hey, Peter, something, something, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're like exactly. doing that fucking weird. Yeah, exactly. It's like, did they die? Like, oh, I don't know if they're dead. Um, the scariest movie that still sits with me for some reason, and it makes sense because we tour, is Green Room. That fucking movie. I've never seen Green Room. I don't know Room. what that is. That is the most. What does it have to do with touring? Tell me, tell me, tell me. So. I'm not going to give anything away with this, but Green Room is basically, it's like this punk band and they play this gig and they get this, you know, they're making no money and they go and they play this gig at like a, a neo-Nazi place Ooh. and they're like, fuck that. So they're like shitting on them a little bit, but they're whatever. Long story short, they go back to the Green Room. This person was killed and they walked in on it and they're like, just stay here, stay here. And they lock the door on them. And then it's just this real fucked up, twisted thing well, of I'll they don't know that. what to do. And the kids don't know what to do, and then it just it okay. Gets... There's two kinds of scary. There's <laughs> that's that, why it there's, freaks me out because I go, there's... you could walk in on that. Yeah, there's <laughs> that kind of scary, which is a situation that could actually happen. Yeah, that's what then freaks me like out about it. Spiritual ghosts, demon scary yeah. shit. <laughs> but green room is one I would. I saw that in theater and actually was like. Okay, well, that's going to fuck me up if I go to Washington. I think it was in Washington. I mean, it's just, you know how we tour and all the shit we got to deal with. And it just, if you happen to walk into a green room after a shitty set at a shithole, you know, Legion or something, mm -hmm. and then there's somebody dead and like, hey, hey don't worry about this. Really? Whoa, whoa, man, I didn't see anything. Yeah. They kept doing that. I didn't see anything. They go, no, 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 just stay. No, we'll let you leave. We'll let you leave. But in reality, you just literally be like, yo, there's a dead dude man. here yeah, and I didn't hey, fucking have yeah, anything yeah, to do it. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. It it gets really bad. Yeah. And it's probably the most gruesome, violent thing I've ever seen. Oh, Jason will love it then. It really <laughs> is crazy bad. Like crazy. <laughs> I actually haven't watched it since I saw it. So we can maybe finish with this one. Yeah, they kidnapped this, the shit out of kids in the 80s. <laughs> Sorry. This is from uh, Scott. I'm trying to get out of the, what I just did. <laughs> Subject line is new fan. Uh, what's yes. up, guys? I'm Scott from Oklahoma City. New to the podcast. Hey, Love it. You guys are funny and all. Thanks, dude. I have to say, I was expecting more lion-based trivia, 
but I have enjoyed learning a lot about Majestic Pachuchu. Oh, right. That's what the fuck it was. Pachuchu. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, God I can, damn it. I'm glad someone called it Thank out because I could not remember what the go. fuck that thing was. The Pachuchu. Pachuchu. What a great name. Hey, how do we figure that out? That's a good name. Pachuchu. Anyways, I just wanted to offer any of you my services as a presidential campaign manager. Nice. I have a political science degree. I know people in several states, and I will push any falsehoods you want me to. <laughs> I will, however, be writing a tell-all book when you eventually fire me. <laughs> so what kind of campaign slogans are you guys thinking? It's him. Didn't we almost get a poster of you? Like, he'd be president. I had a slogan. Yeah, President, president Jason. We've, we've had that. I can't remember what the slogan, oh, I the have slogan look, I was. Let's see if I can quickly find it. Because I remember... Fuck, I forgot it. It, it. There was a good slogan, wasn't there? Yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can pull it up, because I remember that. I made a poster. Um, Hold on. I'm getting to it. Uh, you matter. And I'd just be a... There you go. You matter. And I'd just be a wild VP running around being weird. I don't know. Uh, th- thank you. Are we doing it? Are we doing this or no? Doing what? Campaign slogans. That's what he, he said. What time campaign slogans are you guys thinking? Mine was "You Matter." You matter. I liked "You Matter." Yeah. He's president, and then uh, Vice President Brent would be like this. Silly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I think what? we did it. Like yeah, it. we did it. I like it. Well, thanks everyone. All right, guys. We love you guys. Thank you. Tell a friend. Continue to rate and review. Apple Podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe and Patreon.com slash the Lions Did Pod. Boom. All YouTube uh, the Lion <laughs> The Lions Den with Jason Collins Brent Warren and the so Lions Clip. Save you with the pillow. Bye. We are friends.